Police provided strong support for Melbourne school children traumatised by a bus accident. A collision between bus and a truck in Ainsbury on Tuesday exposed 10 children aged 5 to 11 with variety of traumatic injuries, including crushed limbs, severe cuts from broken glass and spinal cord injuries. Three children underwent surgery to amputate their injured hands and arms. Watch the video above police show strong support for Melbourne school children. The 46 children on board had just left Exford Elementary School to go home when the accident occurred. Two days after the horrific incident, many students from elementary school were too scared to get on the bus. On Thursday morning, a police van accompanied the school bus to reassure them that they would not be shot in the back like their classmates. On Thursday morning, a police van accompanied the school bus. As of Friday morning, a GoFundMe page has opened for the school community and families of injured children, raising more than 20,000. We felt helpless. We had to do something, Pam McGuire, local parent and co-creator of the fundraising event, told Seven News. There will also be a fundraiser at Ainsbury Sports Pavilion on Friday night, where all proceeds from the bar will be donated to school. And the Rotary Club of Ainsbury said it had contacted the Royal Children's Hospital and that families visiting injured children were paying for parking. He was brought before Melbourne Magistrates Court via video link on Wednesday afternoon. The court heard the father two children tell police that he saw a sudden flash of light or a flicker sun before the bus crashed into it. Gleason, whose blood tests were negative for both drugs and alcohol, was released on bail to appear in court on October 18. On Thursday, Gleason's father, Robert, said he and his family were devastated for the children and their families. There's nothing worse than having an accident and involving children, and we hope everyone comes out of this safe, he said. The collision of a bus and a truck in Ainsbury on Tuesday left 10 children aged 5 to 11 years old with various traumatic injuries. Robert said he picked up his son from the police station Wednesday night and said he was not very well. He's a pretty gentle young man and he cares a lot about people. It's pretty messed up. It's going to hang on him for the rest of his life. Robert said Gleason was the first person to play a 3-0 right after the accident happened. We are very sorry for them and we hope they get better and get on with their lives like everyone else, he said.